ekodo me come o abasike akama o ho esie there are some very brilliant uh battles this this is a language this is an alphabet that they formulated and this is the alphabet now uh, you can find this on wiki media.org files this was done well before any other race on earth has been able to develop any alphabet this is from ancient africa do you know uh, africa holds the world's first with the most ancient uh, written languages over 11 scripts are known but you never hear this as a mantra but you always hear the nonsense that africans are dumb and all this which is wrong and which is a lie this is a language in the pd by africa's written alphabet used in west africa which was destroyed by the british it predates any european alphabet it is the oldest one of the oldest may be contemporary to ancient egyptian hieroglyphics even older we are the best and those who laugh at us do so as a jest and fooling around let us revisit one powerful tribe and its contribution to african power used by our ancestors when they employed it to defeat and conquer their enemies the fine details of such secret societies like the ekbe who invented this secret code an African ancient alphabet are known by the few uh, today. But you have a right to access and understand this. There is a very interesting tribe that sojourned from Nubia to Ghana and then Arochuku in present day Southeast Nigeria. Their alphabet is similar to hieroglyphics. Credit goes to Prince Udo Ibiono for showing us many aspects of these Bantus in West Africa. He tells us that the Ibibio people are Kwa speaking people of the Benu Congo group and also Niger Congo language. So they are Bantus who occupy the palm palm belt in southeastern Nigeria or the Niger Delta. They are the, one of the most ancient ethnic groups and the fourth largest groups found in Nigeria. We will have a, an apology to make when it comes uh, to this. You can study a lot. They invented a lot of stuff. In the alphabet is an ancient system of graphic communication indigenous to the Ejagam peoples of South Eastern Nigeria and Southwestern Cameroon in the Cross River region. So the idea that Africa had no writing system is a lie. You can study and read more from this website that we are indicating here. This is the whole area we are talking about. Let us emphasize that this country now called Nigeria, Cameroon, uh, uh, Benin and so forth are not African countries, they are European countries. In Africa with the, uh, European borders, European cities and many other things pointing to Europe. And their origin like this, it was Nigeria came into existence in 1861 as a private a British company known as the Royal Niger Company, which was promoting European colonial agenda in Africa. It was later affirmed by the Berlin Conference. So if you recognize these borders today, it doesn't matter who you are. You are a British, you are a European, you are a sellout. You can never recognize these borders unless you do it in ignorance. Let's come to the issue of some battles from uh, Nigeria in quotation marks because of the apology that we have given. The battles settled in Niger uh, Delta, a basin of Nigeria and Cameroon, they all spoke a different language, but they understood each other. The Ibibio in Anang tribe, Calaba tribe, Ibibio tribe, Orong tribe, Calabari, which uh, includes the Ibo and Ibibio in Nigeria, are all a group of these Bantu people found in this region. One of the richest places in Nigeria, although now dominated by those uh, of Islamic or Muslim mentality from the north, the people of this southern uh, uh, region of Nigeria should be enjoying their oil fields, the richest places there in Africa. So you can see this is whole Africa. Forget about Nigeria, Niger, Chad, Benin, and Cameroon. We are all Bantus, bound by our culture and our oneness as Bantus. So we look at the Ibibio because they are also a totemic people. They have totems like lion, uh, tortoise, hawk, parrot, snake, hippopotamus, all these are their totems. So they are related to me. They are related to me, Mulambo. They are related to you if you are Mpofu, if you are Dube, if you are Ndovu, if you are Nkala, if you are, if you are a horse, if you are Sibanda. You are related to these people. We are one people. Totems must unite us. A DNA forbids Ekpu Ret. 
Then them is Ibom Ediene. Otoro for beats in zon sang uh, bed. Them is Akipiapo Ibom. Ikpum Minya is also a sub of Python. Them is Ekpium Okpum. So these are some of the things, the totems they reverence and they understand and they adopt. So this is our unity. This is the center of our unit. So knowing your totems awakens your spirit. Daily acknowledgement boosts your original perspective, your self-expression, your self-esteem, and solidifies your identity. Without your totem, you have no link to your identity or to your origin. You have no link to your ancestry. You are lost. That's the truth and that's a fact. So in people your Bantu cultural activities, Involve issues of circumcision where the foreskin is put under a wine palm tree after circumcision. The navel of a newly born baby is placed under a plantain. Men still do these things because this is our culture. Many have lost it following Islam, Christianity and many other foreign religions. Cultural activities and practices, traditional wrestling and Ekpo masquerade which is similar to Nyao dance. It's like that. You can visit this website to see all that. You can see this is in Nyao, found all over in Zimbabwe, Malawi, as well as in Nigeria now. So dance and cultural activities unite us and bind us together. A traditional rapper is usually worn during a Bibio weddings where they have fattening rooms and other Afro-traditional weddings, not the Ibibio wedding ceremonies and events where this angle long deep chunk of fabric that is wrapped to like a skate and they look like this with various adornments. This is an Ibibio woman in her wedding outfit in 1910. Look at that. How beautiful are we instead of following some other cultures? One of the aspects that Africans have is our ability to sculpture and make images and make icons and make fantastic megalithic buildings so you see this is uh, one you can go to this uh a ceremony uh masquerade here is a mask and there you look at that fantastic it cannot be done no race can do that except a uh, black people this is out of this world such art aqua ibom state is a home of culture their rich culture has four activities attached to it or characteristics. This include preoccupation with the supernatural. That's a Bantu behavior. Utiko, umkulunkulu, umverinane, uonyan koponi, amen, the creator msiki. That's, that's what we are. Involvement with good morals. That's Mahat, that's Bantu, that's Ubuntu. That's us, good morals. We were not corrupt. We were corrupted by the colonizer and the enslaver. We were pure beings living together with the nature a rebellion against injustice and belief in a strong family our family is centered on a man and a woman having a family in a clan with all the chains connecting to aunties uncles brothers sisters totems totemic linkages and everything else that is bantu that is african so those are the four pillars of the ibibio a tribe and many many other tribes in um, Africa. You can study this uh, website and look at that where they also talk about um, music. The political system that they had traditionally Ibibio society consisted of communities that are made up of large families with blood affinity each ruled by their constitutional and religious head known as Ikpai Song. The Obong Ikpai Song ruled with the Mbong Ekpak head of families which together with the heads of cults and societies constitute the Afe or Asan or Isop Ik Paisong, traditional council. So that is the structure of the traditional ruling council, which is the chief and his council, just like we have in many other places and the shrines and holy places. And this is the policeman or the judge and the magistrate who is giving judgment. And this is part of our king that was destroyed by the colonizer and enslaver. Look at the attire as well as that. That's just pre-colonial. And, 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 and this is what we want to restore. And when it comes to religion, a biblical religion has two dimensions to it. Centered on the liberation, worship, consultation, communication, and invocation of the Most High, known as Abbas and Yong, and of the earth, known as Abbas and Song. 
by the constitutional and religious head of a particular Ibibio community who was known from ancient times as the Obong Ikpaisong. The word Obong Ikpaisong directly interpreted means king of the principalities of the earth or king of the earth and the principalities or traditional ruler. That's African. Bantu everywhere. The Ibibio religion also worships consults, sacrifices are pieces, Abbas and Yong, and the Abbas in song through various invisible or spiritual entities. These are the entities we must have within us. I'll show you and uh, give you what you must have as your pillow or as your sheets for these energies to come shortly. Uh, so these are also letters, not your tokolosh and uh, all these other things. No. Spirits of various Ibibio divisions, as Etefia, Ikono, Awa, Itam, the priests of these spiritual entities in them were the temple chief priests of the various Ibibio divisions. A particular Ibibio division could consist of many interrelated autonomous communities. So you can read more from this website. And uh, as noted by Diop in regards to the beginning of the Middle Nature script, as early as 4000 before Common Era, Egyptian documents indicate that Meroitic Sudan was a prosperous country which maintained commercial ties with Egypt. So don't think of borders that are there. These are just regions or, or, or principalities or areas in Africa. No borders remove borders from your head when we say Egypt. Gold was plentiful. About that time, the Meroitic Sudan probably transmitted to ancient Egypt the 12 hieroglyphs that were the first embryonic alphabet. These are also based on the 12 totems that are the core totems, the marine and the water, the earth and the body parts. This is the source. Of in the BD, the alphabet that we have shown you. Ibom is an old word used by the Ethic Ibibio Anang Orong Eket people of Nigeria, meaning the universe, the earth, or community. This is the highest. So it's clear we are dealing with one of the most important uh, tribes here. So this is their language, which you must study in the BD. There is it. Yeah, you can study this and be able to read and understand this. You can go to this website and uh, look at this. This is the power cloth that I said you should have. The Ukara cloth of the Ekpe society covered in Tibidi graphics. For those in Southern Africa, this is also called, known as Retso. This is what you should have. It has all the signs. Grab such cloth and use as a pillow or as sheets. So this is the secret society. That uses in the bid on it's known as the ACPE. So we need to revive this. As committee pro ethics, we are saying join an African secret society, not the Freemasons, the Illuminati. Also. Join your own African secret society. Master in the BD or hieroglyphics and an African language that you will should use. You can see at the back there, they've got that cloth. With all the signs absorbing and attracting power. Let's talk about these things. Here's our email, which you can use. We are the best on earth. This is preacher Rabbi LM Tumizulu. Subscribe to our channel, Committee Hebrew Ethics. Remember this the sparks between us will never die. Let us be one in unity. Totems link us together. Thank you. See ya, Bonga. Goodbye.